Welcome to the virtual interactive experience of Nancy Lovendahl's exhibition, Small Glimpses, Many Times, at the Colorado Springs Fine Arts Center at Colorado College. This education interactive was designed by the FAC Museum Education Team. During this experience, consider your own perceptions as you explore Lovendahl's work. Feel free to pause the video if you want more time to reflect or talk about the ideas with others. One aspect of this exhibition addresses how we perceive things in front of us and factors that influence those perceptions. The artist presents this concept through the metaphor of a mountain. A mountain can mean many things to many people. Based on your memories, experiences, or perceptions, what are ways you connect to a mountain? Perhaps it's a mountain you've seen or visited that stands out to you. Perhaps it's a specific location or a general idea of what a mountain looks like. Is it an obstacle that you perceive as an insurmountable mountain? Choose one of your connections to explore further as we look through this exhibition. In this exhibition, Nancy Lovendahl has created these works from her perception of Garrett Peak, a mountain located in Snowmass, Colorado. She has reconstructed this idea of Garrett Peak from her own memory. Her form does not directly replicate the mountain, but rather it is meant to elicit her personal connection to that mountain. The artist believes that our perceptions of something are often dependent on the perspectives we have been exposed to. Consider your mountain and how your perception of it is dependent upon your mind and experiences. Would others experience your mountain in the exact same way you have? The artist understands that her perception of Garrett Peak is her own, based upon her mind and life experiences. She creates her work, however, to help viewers understand their own perceptions. Let's step in and look at Mountain 2. Think about the connection between Mountain 2 and your mountain you reflected upon. This is Mountain 2. Each work you see here is a part of Mountain 2. Notice each part individually and then notice how they work together. What's going on in this artwork? What do you see that makes you say that? How can you connect this artwork to your own perceived mountain? Notice in Mountain 2 that the artist uses the same template of her recreated mountain repeated in a variety of ways. The artist believes that when this image is repeated over and over, the viewer perceives the mountain in different colors, scales, patterns, and contexts. By viewing the mountain in various ways, the viewer is further able to perceive their own understanding of that mountain, which can eventually lead the viewer to question their own perceptions entirely. Now look at her work Mountain 3, Cathedral, next to Mountain 2. What connections can you make between color, scale, and pattern? Now compare Mountain 3, Cathedral, to Mountain 3, Yin Yang. What connections can you make between color, scale, and pattern? Now look at Mountain 3, Rubble. Compare the size of Mountain 3, Rubble, to Mountain 3, Yin Yang. Look at these works again from a new vantage point. How does the scale change? How might a different vantage point change our perspectives of these works? Think back to your mountain. What colors do you see when you think of your mountain? What's the size of your mountain from the vantage point you imagine it? What is repeated across your mountain, either in a literal or figurative way? The artist wants us to consider the fact that we all have varied interpretations about her work, even though we were exposed to the same works and were given the same guidance. We constructed possible realities based on our own perceptions, and often we come to have those perceptions based on the perspective from which we view them. As we end this experience, 
Consider one of the artist's goals. Through her work, she hopes to bring people together to talk about how we can have vastly different takeaways after sharing a common experience. How often do we confront our own perceptions and think deeply about what influences our realities?